Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. I want to remind you that the supernatural is based on the covenant of Christ. So you ought to be in agreement with the covenant in order to walk by faith. And the covenant is sealed in Christ. Okay? The paranormal operates through deals. There's nothing wrong with a deal between people. But the enemy only operates in deals. And here's why. He has no other option. He can only work in deals. Why? Because he's a counterfeiter. He has no covenant to offer. Christ does. He has the covenant. Okay? Which is the new covenant, which is the everlasting one. I'm not going into details and all of that. Research your, yourself. But here's how it goes with the paranormal, which is the counterfeit. In order for you to get a deal, you have to be fake. You have to forfeit your natural rights and your natural responsibilities to the human race. You need to forfeit them. You can't eliminate them, but you have to forfeit them. You have to distance yourself from them. And you need to accept demonic values and demonic interests. So feminine, especially feminine traits, or traits considered feminine, like care, empathy, trust, you need to forfeit them. Why? Because, well... They're considered feminine because when you're born as a human being, you're dependent upon your mother. So trust, care, you receive that from your mother. Okay? But to get a paranormal deal, you need to forfeit femininity. You need to hate females. So feminine values or associated with females, you need to give that up also. The paranormal operates through control, hysteria, paranoia, and fear. And things associated with that. That's how it operates. And you need to be fake. Your mindset has to be fake. For example, let's say you have a young woman that's a bit sexually loose and she likes to jump on guys and she wants to go to Hollywood to get a deal. Whether it's, it's in some porn movie or it's in a, a real action movie. Uh, I'm sorry, she will arrive and they'll tell her no. Or they will turn her around, make some use of her, exploit it and throw her away. And if she keeps bothering them, she'll end up in some red light district when she's sold to some handler. Why? Because she's real. I'm not saying that what she's into is wise, but she is operating in her, nat in her natural sexuality. She may not manage it well, but she's real at least. At the paranormal, to get a deal there, you have to be fake. Fake. If, you're f if you have fake faith, like some of those pastors do, you can get a deal and your church will grow. You will, you will have thousands of members and people think you're anointed man of God, but you're fake. The enemy only deals with the fake. He only deals with the, the enemy only deals with the proud. And the enemy loves hang around to reprobate. While the Holy Spirit only deals with the humble because only the humble can receive. The Holy Spirit only anoints humble people. Well, the enemy only wants the proud. He only wants the proud. If you're humble, that means you're real. Forget about it. There's the door. That's how they will treat you. Well, why I remind you of this is because some of you are upset because you see others who are, are your same age who've made more progress than you do. And you are blessed and you think, what is this? But ask yourself, in which power they're operating? Did they join some cult? Did they receive the cover of a cult? Because you need a cover during this lifetime. Because the negative wills of people will devour you if you don't have a cover. For real. Did they join a cult? It means they've lost some freedom over there. If they're not part of some cult, it means they're paranormally active themselves. And if they have if they have great success according to the world with no hindrance at all that means they're into a paranormal deal and then you know how, how late it is so which power are you operating in have you asked yourself that no you didn't you only look at the appearance and you judged your circumstances including um, the the resistance against you with their appearance um, don't do that okay look beyond I'm telling you, look beyond. That's it for now. 
agree with Christ and be at peace.